OK, you're in Microsoft Word and you want to delete a table but retain the text within the table. So I'm going to show you two main ways you can do this. Now with the first method, what you would do is click somewhere in the table, doesn't matter where, and then on the ribbon, click on this Layout tab. Now over on the right here is a button called Convert to Text. Click on that and it will offer you different ways you can separate the text. Now the default is tabs, so let's click on OK. You can see what it's done. It's got rid of the table, but it's separated the text within the table using tabs, so it retains the structure of the table. Now I'll undo that. Now say you didn't want to retain the structure of the table. You can use the same method, layout, convert to text. And I could, for example, go to commas, click on OK. Now I've lost the structure of the table, and the text is retained. You can see now that the different rows within the table have become paragraphs within the document. Now, if I undo that again, one final option I'll show you here, convert to text. You can go to other and you can choose your own separator. Now, by default, there's a dash in that little box, but I could put a slash in. Click on OK, and you can see that effect. OK, so I'm going to show you a second method. This is an entirely different method. And you'd use this if you want to retain your table, but then create a duplicate of it that only contains the text within the table. To use this method, you'd need to first of all select your table, and you can do that by clicking on this little handle here, top left of the table, and then copy. So I'm going to use Control C on my keyboard. Alternatively, you could use this copy button. And then you'd need to click where you want to paste the text. So I click beneath my table. And then I go up to this paste button on the home tab, on the little drop down there. And I'm going to use this option here, keep text only. Now it's separated the text out, probably not very successfully here. And it's done that if I click on this show hide button using tabs. OK, so hopefully one of those options is useful for you. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you found it useful. And I'll see you next video.